What's good, everyone? This is your host with the most with that damn figure show. And today we have the Xenomorphs that I've been talking about since day one, since I started this. This is, in my opinion, the definitive Xenomorph that you want to have in your collection. Get as many of these as you desire. I got two, as I normally get two of each Xenomorph that comes out, aside from the one ofs, um, like uh, Big Chap and... The one that's um, coming out, I think, next year. The Pred Alien and, you know, that stuff I'll get, like, one of because there was only one. But anyway, I'm babbling. These are fantastic. Um, as you can see here, they look they look phenomenal. Um, this is the one you want to get. Um, their accessories, you know, are bare minimum. They just come with extra hands. Each individual Xenomorph has its, its different hands. Like, this one is the action hands. And this one is the relaxed hands. And as you can see here, it has its, uh, you know, comes with the extra ones, that, like I just said. Boom, 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 boom. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just super excited. This is the this is the one I've been waiting for the most. I do have Grid Alien on pre-order. Um, pre haven't gotten him yet, but he looks just the same, but his head is uh, uh, different. Uh, they're both on their stands, and if you guys want to see the stands, this is how the stands look because I have a bunch of extra ones. All right, and let's get into the aesthetics. I'm going to use the one on the left since I've been playing with him more. Like, I've been moving him around. His joints are a little bit more loose than the one on the right. And just right away, people, look at that. Look at this. This is... This is the... The Xenomorphs from Alien vs. Predator came out a couple of years ago. I want to figure out the early 2000s or... Yeah, early 2000s, I want to say. And this the movie wasn't so good, but um, just an excuse to have the Predators and the Aliens together in one film was enough for me. And I did um, fall in love with the Xenomorph design, so this looks fantastic. And I do have their Queen pre-ordered as well. She's supposed to come out this month, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Maybe her and the Grid Alien will come at the same time, and I'll just pair them up in a video like I did with Crusher and... Um, the Alien Covenant Xenomorph. But yeah, everyone, look at the design, the sculpt. Look, it's just fantastic. Look at the sculpt, it's perfect. Um, like all the Xenomorphs, it's all bendy wire. Um, the tail is complete bendy wire, which is fun, makes it nice to maneuver around. And you can actually use the tail to balance out. Look at its mouth. And if you guys are wondering, the mouth does open, and he does have the other... Um, other mandible inside and I'd, i don't know if you guys i'll do this in the um the size comparison the comparison with the other xenomorphs in my collection this is the best um sub mouth out of all the other xenomorphs aside from the crusher because he's a big figure so it's they're able to put more design you know detail on it but look at that perfect this is what you want to see my only gripe with this, uh, with these figures, it happened re after the review of the last Xenomorphs. When you do open their mouths all the way, it can unalign and it won't close again. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's a quick fix. All you need to do is just, you know, squeeze, put the mouth back in, obviously. Uh, squeeze the jowls together and it'll go back in place. And it looked great even closed, like if you want to put it lurking and about to sneak up behind someone. Now, I don't know if you, the camera's picking it up, but you can see the seam line from where they conjoined the two parts to make it. That doesn't bother me so much. And nothing a little paint can fix. Sorry, out of focus. But yeah, I really like the action hands, like swiping hands. Uh, to me, this actually looks like crawling hands. Like, like if you are slick with it, you could put them put him like lurking like i'm about to pounce motherfucker but yeah this is this is fantastic let's get into articulation so as we can see here um they have a weird uh all the xenomorphs have this weird joint and on the um avp xenomorph you could see it clearly and i'm glad it's like this because you guys can see how it is it's like a ball joint with um what do I want to say? It's a, a ball joint with a, a regular joint that you would see on a other figure, but it's like on like a window joint, I want to say. But like you could adjust this. Like I don't know if you guys are catching that on camera, but you could adjust this. You could put it low 
and you could make him when you put it low you could get him to kick all the way up if you oops, if you put it high he he does more of a spread he could spread he doesn't go as far but i like that on it works on him on 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 big chap it sucked it was not good and i think it's because the design of big chap like he's more slender towards the waist um but it didn't work for him so let's look, look at the knees the knees are double double jointed but because of the sculpt it won't go all the way and as you can see here guys this is this is an example of uh a perfect higher figure um you know a lot of people even on their official facebook that i'm a part of um uh, they'll put some news out and you know a lot of us are excited and then you have a trolls like how about make it not break and i start laughing but i i do i haven't had that issue with any of mine but just how tight some of these joints are yeah you they could break i th i think uh it's happened to awesome action toys he a few years ago he was it him or or i think it was him but he was also saying like to be careful with the joints and it's it's true you do have to be ca careful you could heat them up but uh, as i said in other videos sometimes that doesn't help um it's still tight i think it's like the glue or the plastic just squeezes on really really tight but this one is perfect you can see here this is an example of how perfect, and this is only 20 bucks, and this is how perfect it could be. He has torso articulation, as you can see, well, chest articulation. And then he has, of course, the bendy wire tail. You don't wanna bend these too quick or fast. You wanna take your time with it or it will snap. All right, and let's take a look at the arms. Now, out of all the xenomorphs that I had, this AVP one, in my opinion, the definitive Xenomorph couldn't almost do the perfect T-pose, which is is nice. It's very, very nice. And he could go all the way around if, if you want to. And he has, yeah, boom, see, boom. His ball joint, little ball joint, so you can't get that much movement. And then the head up, down, side to side, little side to side, which kind of sucks. But again, out of the other Xenomorphs, they could barely look side to side like this, um, but he can. It's not a big, a big deal, but like, like for what you want to do, you oppose it for your collection. You could put this to the side and move their torso, and and that's good enough. That's good enough for me, everyone. I don't know, but the, um, when I get to the size comparison, I'll show you guys uh, when I use the other xenomorphs in my collection what I'm talking about with the design and why I like this design so much compared to the other ones. But yeah, everyone, this is this is it, and it is fantastic. And I got two of them, and the paint scheme is not different at all. Maybe the teeth, the teeth on this one seems to be more silvery, but it's fine. This I like this paint scheme the most. And if I had the skill, which I'm gonna try, I would paint all my other xenomorphs that are too a little bit too grayish or bluish. I will paint them this exact same color scheme just to make them more uniform in my little army that I'm making for these guys. Um, these figures are gonna, gonna look great paired up with, with just about any of your 118 scale collection like Joy Toy and even Acid Rain. Actually for Acid Rain, I would say the figures coming out next year, it's this exact design of Xenomorph, but they're brown. And they look a little bit more dirty, like that world, like the acid rain world. They're from Alien Resurrection, which I do. That's an underrated movie. Um, it's not fantastic, but it definitely is underrated. Um, they also have the Queen coming out. Um, that's also like a like a chocolate brown color. And um, they also have the newborn looking for. I have every single one pre-ordered already. Um, so next year when they do release, stay tuned for that. But... We're going to take a break and we're going to get to the size comparison. All right. So stay tuned for that. Welcome back, everybody. And let's get into the size comparison. But first, let's use the other xenomorphs first. I think that's what a lot of people would like to see is the other xenomorphs. Uh, I mean, you guys saw it in the video collage that I put in the beginning of all my videos. But this is... Um, um avp xenomorph next to alien covenant xenomorph and um i like these two the most actually in terms of like movability um you know articulation wise and um they both don't have this weird little uh fin in the back 
that the other two xenomorphs that I'm going to show you do have. Um, but yeah, these two, um, I, I would army build. Like, if, if you're going to be picky and like ha and like you don't want to you know i get it you know some these figures are 20 bucks you don't want to buy a bunch of them but if you just want to like one or two of of a bunch of these these two would be the ones i would say to get get like a bunch of of uh, alien covenant xenomorph and avp xenomorph these are the two i would go with all right and let's move on put you over here let's go with big chap which is my least favorite of the xenomorphs and he's my least favorite because he doesn't look like Big Chap too much to me. As a Xenomorph, he looks fantastic. It's fine. You know, I'm not going to say fantastic, but he looks fine. But as you can see here, look how big uh, the AVP one is. Um, looks great. And this is how, this is the straightest I could get him to stand because he has those wobbly leg issues. But um, this is what I was talking about. This guy fell over. Um, he has this... You know it's this protrusion this like fin like dorsal fin that comes out and that hinders you could see right there hinders the articulation and um the rest of the other xenomorphs um alien covenant and avp do not have that as you can see you see and you could go further you go further back this is exactly why i like it you could go much much further back when you want to you know watch your stuff so um that's a plus. I mean, you know, my only gripe with this one is that he just doesn't look as much as Big Chap to me. Moving on. All right. And here is, uh, this was the last review I did. And I do like this one. You, uh, I do, I do like it. Um, I just like uh, Alien Covenant and AVP Xenomorph more. But yeah, you get to see how they look together. And that looks fantastic to me. You could buy a bunch of these guys if you want to. Again, I would go with Covenant and with the AVP version. But I do plan on repainting um, this guy. And I have two. So you guys will see that. I'll document that as I do go along. All right. And now moving on to other stuff in the collection. We're going to go with the... See if I can get him to stand. Because I remember... Oh, shit. I did it in one shot. I got him to stand in one shot. Um, so yeah, look, this is from Jazzawares. This is the Halo Infinite, um, just a regular soldier. And this, uh, I like these guys that they, they scale a little bit. They're a little shorter than four inches, um, but just above 375. And that's how he looks next to, next to the AVP Xenomorph. That looks really imposing. All right, and we're going to go to Joy Toy. And here we have uh, the Bounty Hunter. Um, subtle custom. Just the bottom. I just changed the bottom pants. And this is how they look. It looks perfect to me. Fantastic. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, everyone's favorite. Um, Rigo, the Risen. Man, that looks fantastic. Oh, I'm going to do some cool stuff with this. This is going to look great. Fantastic. All right, moving on. I'm going to use my only acid rain that I have, which is Kelsey. See how she stacks. Stacks pretty well. Her, her big ass head. Look good. All right, moving on. We're going to go with, uh, uh, moving on to higher stuff now, related. And we got Robocop. Which, of course, is going to look perfect next to, next to its own stuff. They probably scale them a little better. I was, um, somebody was telling me on a group, uh, on a Facebook group that, uh, the Colonial Marines scale well with these guys. I just don't like the detail on them. They look weird to me. They look too cartoony to me. Maybe I'll get one just for the channel. All right. And here we go. A higher Predator. This is the the first um, versions of the Yauchas that they released. This is the City Hunter. Uh, again, a subtle custom. This is from uh, one of the other guys in his party. 
You can see how they scale. They scale pretty good. A uh, uh, Xenomorph, in my opinion, should be either the same size or a little bigger than a, than a Predator. Uh, well, depending on the species. And here we go. Another one. Uh, uh, would say a, a fan favorite is um, Crucified Armored Predator. And he's a chunky boy. Looks great, looks fantastic. And of course it won't be complete without putting him with his brethren in his movie. And this is my favorite from the movie, which he got shafted, is Celtic. And that's how they look next to each other. Oh, oh boy, this is fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is really, really fun. This this hobby is really fun to do, collecting these guys. A lot of nostalgia. I have a lot of Godzilla stuff in the works as well, so stay tuned for that. But if you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe and comment. I say it in every video. I like communicating with you guys. I think the community can be very, very nice um, to speak with. It, it's fun. All right, this is That Damn Figure Show signing out. Peace.